you wake up, a new King James video is out. Alright guys, so we are going to be testing out the 7 Artisans 50mm 1.8 the brand new lens from Seven Artisans. They sent it over for me to review. I'm actually pretty excited about this one and uh, we're gonna be doing some portraits. So I am joined by the one, the only, Mai right here. And uh, we're gonna go around town. I don't have a filming crew, it's just me and this camera and our amazing model for the day. <laughs> and as we make our photographs, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the lens, what I like, what I don't like, and see if it's actually sharp and usable. So let's go. So I got the lens set to 1.8. We have our model in place. And let's shoot it. Perfect. Okay, now relax your arm. Beautiful right there. Tilt that, tilt it a little bit. Good, good job. That is gorgeous. All right, take a look at the lens really quick. Now, I am shooting this in autofocus, and if you look closely, you can actually get eye autofocus. Now, it's not active eye autofocus. I am on single shot, but it does seem to recognize the eye, and I am shooting on the a7 III. You definitely still get fast enough autofocus, especially if you're doing things like portraits. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. Can you distribute your weight on one hit? Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Tilt your head down a little bit. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Keep it there. Keep it there. Oh my goodness, these are great. These are amazing. Three, two, one. How you feeling? <laughs> Instead of like putting hand on face, do a palm. Good. Beautiful, that's gorgeous. There you go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. There you go. I'm gonna let the wind play with your hair a little bit. <laughs> Just be natural. Maybe you stand right here actually. So this is gonna be a full body, okay? And switch hips. Good. And like play with your flannel a little bit. Like let it flow. There you go. Good. like that first good beautiful So we are finally back home with the Seven Artisans 50mm 1.8 lens. And I gotta say, this is a very, 
very interesting lens. Now, before we even talk about it, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for this episode, which are the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, if you're watching this episode, good chances are you may be a portrait photographer. And everyone knows that if you want to be successful with your portrait photography, you need to have your own professional website. Now, Squarespace offers a ton of different award-winning templates that you can use to get started within minutes. You can make a page for your portfolio, a gallery, an e-commerce shop, and probably one of my newest favorite features is the appointment scheduling tab. This allows clients to see exactly what time slots I have available and they can book me directly through my website, saving any type of email back and forth hassle that you may have. So head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout and you guys can get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. All right, so here is the lens in all of its glory. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a little bit larger than you know most 50 millimeter 1.8 lenses. This is what it looks like without the lens cap here. But overall, I think that's a good thing considering that this lens has a lot of metal on it and definitely some plastic. It has a nice weight to it, but it's not too heavy. All right, so here's a quick little tour of the lens. On the top here, you have your focus ring, which right under that you have your aperture ring, which goes from f1.8 all the way to f22. And it also has that A mode for auto. Right next to the aperture ring, you have the autofocus and manual focus switch. And at the top, you have some branding and that beautiful glass right there. So this is a 62 millimeter filter thread. So if you have 62 millimeter filters, this is a great lens. Now it does come stock with a lens hood, which is this rose petal lens hood right here. Uh, and honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell this is a seven artisans lens if you never got to see any of the branding. I mean, it looks like a native Sony lens in my opinion. But as you guys know, this is the first autofocus lens they have released. So I guess the biggest question here is, how does the autofocus perform? Well, if I were to put it on a scale between one being, you know, atrocious and then 10 being amazing, this lens is like a six out of 10. Now in terms of today's standard, when it comes to autofocus, it's definitely not slow, but it's definitely not fast. It's kind of just like right in the middle. And to be honest with you, that is kind of what I expected. This is Seven Artisan's first autofocus lens. So this is an STM lens. I should also mention that because it really does feel like Canon's 50 millimeter 1.8 where it'll hunt a little bit and then it will lock on. It's not really snappy. It's more of like a hunt lock hunt lock. That's the best way I could explain it. Now, surprisingly, it does support eye autofocus. And every single time that I was making portraits with the model today, it locked on her eyes perfectly. So it has plus points for that. So in terms of like portrait photography, if your subjects are still, I have no problem shooting with a lens like this, but I think you would see a little bit of an issue if you were shooting moving subjects like you know at a wedding or an event now in terms of video it has pretty average autofocus uh, it is sticky so it still supports eye autofocus in video mode from what i understand and i didn't really have too many complaints because in terms of video you don't want super fast autofocus anyway now how about the image quality now i gotta tell you guys straight up man this is a pretty sharp lens. Considering that this thing costs $228, if I were just getting started with portrait photography, I would definitely pick this lens up. Not because of the autofocus, but because at 228 bucks, this lens is extremely sharp. All of the images that I made today were wide open at f1.8, with the exception of a few of them being at like f4 and f5.6. At 1.8, the lens is really, really sharp. It has some really nice bokeh. I feel like sometimes it looks a little swirly. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it kind of gives you that look to it. And I think a lot of what people are gonna compare this lens to is gonna be the Sony equivalent, which is the Sony FE 51.8, which you could get for like 198 bucks, so it's a little bit cheaper than this lens. And I've shot with that lens actually a lot in the past. And I gotta say, I would still take the Seven Artisans lens over that, mainly because that is a very old lens. And overall, I think this lens performs a lot better. It's sharper and the autofocus may not be the best in the class, but it is still pretty dang good. I feel like this is a really good lens for beginner photographers, maybe just getting started with portraits, or maybe you're just a photographer that doesn't always use the 50 millimeter focal length, but you still want it in your arsenal without having to drop a ton of cash. I would definitely consider picking this lens up, but there is one thing that really really annoys me about this lens and that ladies and gentlemen is this autofocus and manual focus switch now 
it has very little play, which I think is the main reason why I don't like it. But because it has very little play, you don't even notice if you flick it or not. And a lot of times while I was out on the portrait shoot today, I realized that I had somewhat nudged it to manual focus and my autofocus wouldn't work. And initially I thought maybe the lens was just faulty, but I then realized that I was just flicking the switch without even knowing it. It's very light. So, you know, that's something you gotta watch out for. But other than that, I mean, for seven artisans coming out with their first autofocus lens, I think it's pretty solid. Like on a scale of one to 10, overall the performance of this is gonna be like a seven out of 10. And best of all, it is a sub $250 lens. But what this lens signifies is that seven artisans is probably gonna continue to push out autofocus lenses. And if I'm grading this lens at a seven out of 10 and it's their first one, I can only hope that their other lenses get better with time. What do you guys think about this lens? What were your thoughts on the performance, the image quality, uh, the autofocus itself, judging just from this video? Comment all of those down below. But that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. As always, Minolta Gang.